So, what is going on people? It's Kim here and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode 9. Hope you've all been enjoying the playthrough so far. I really have had so much fun with this game. Um, and we are just heading into the Open Arms Hotel. Um, which is where we've been led to by Marissa, I think her name was. And this was where Lily, Lily's kind of last lo known location was. Um, with the client. So hopefully we're going to find out some more stuff. We are we are definitely hoping for that. We're just going to check out a few few bits first. I don't know why I'm looking at the soda machine. But I'm going to. Yeah, she'll kill you. Okay. Good advice, Bigby. Good advice. Like, do not buy cola because it will kill you. I should hmm. probably repair look that. At this. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, yeah. they should cut their rates. Yeah, but when people people are desperate, you know, for a secret place. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big But you should he tell him. He wants to do right by me, and he just, he tell just him, couldn't okay? handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Big B, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... The troll. She's truthful, at least. I did see her. Appreciate I mean, that. You know, we never really spoke, but do you know she the came off a tad intimidating. Do you know Faith? Have you seen Snow here? Um, did you know Faith? Ever see Lily with anyone? Ever see Lily with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but... Nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's yeah, kind of a blur imagine, with actually. all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Um, sorry. I don't know if Snow's been there. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. This is not gonna look good. It's a good job Big B is single. But Beauty isn't single. It's just not gonna end well, is it? Let's be honest. Listen, Big B. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. I'm going to tell the truth. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Oh, no. 
never sure why they have desks in a place like this. We should just go to room 207, let's be honest. There's nothing in here, is there? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Oh no, this looks so wrong. Baby? How could oh, you do dude, this to me? Oh, dude, got the wrong idea. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- not what you oh, think. Oh, for fuck's Please. sake. No. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast, I promise I'm not. Oh, Jesus, that was not the right thing That's to say. That's all. You've got it wrong. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the I fuck don't want to fight, Beast. You? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not... <laughs> hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You said you saw her that night. I should have fucking known. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I took... I really don't want to hear it. Stop! Please! Leave him be! We're turning the... It's my fault! Ah, it's froze on us! Oh, fuck. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Christ! Dude, no. chill! Chill! Oh, God. I mean, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. So can see in the room now. Oh shit. Shit, Bigby. What have oh, you done? Nice. I'm sorry, beast. What what is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Oh, Mr. his Mathen eyes. Right I'm here. sorry, Beast. I didn't Jesus. want to fight you. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Do you remember who rented this room last night? 
I don't think anyone did. Not last Yeah, night. they probably do. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain I'm later. Sorry about your okay. eyes, beast. I didn't want to do that, guys. I didn't want to fight with Beast. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so. Yes. Bad. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't All right. even imagine. I'm sorry, Snap. Well, I should I shouldn't even be in here. Detective. Do you smell something? Like no, Snow White? Just Apple. Fits the story. I wanted to look at the the flowers. But it's not letting me. Alright. The story book. Yeah, they were acting it out. Knew it. Snow White. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. Yeah. I knew it straight away. The one we found on the floor. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple. Which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Uh... Is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. It's really awkward when you know people with the same name Smith. <laughs> this guy really <laughs> has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. I'm getting that feeling, yes. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every I was completely not different. paying attention yeah. to that bit. So, that's the book done. She must have been so scared. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought more French wine as well. I saw it say Bordeaux. <laughs> Maybe she didn't see it coming. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. 
he killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one yeah. in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. Yeah, that's what he was doing. the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the Snow White the story dress of snow, and recreated snow the White. whole story from the book with the apple and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't yeah, really want to stay, stay anyway, in here any longer. We should take that. It's evident. Oh. There's a letter on the floor. Or an envelope. Or parchment. I don't know. A piece of paper with the letter. It's an envelope. <gasps> with a picture of snow. You know, oh, there are pictures, pictures of the dead How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> oh! Oh my god, he's a sick pervert. You dirty old fucker. Oh. He smashed the mirror, the little bastard. Oh my god, Crane. Oh. Oh, what a sleaze. Oh my god, that is dis. No, I'm so disturbed right now, guys. I'm gonna let this play. Oh. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Oh, that's just disgusting. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Oh. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Jesus, guys. Let's go through this. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 21.4% of players sympathised with him. Uh, how did you treat the murder suspect? You and 45.4% of players persuaded him to talk. Yeah. Um, did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? Most of us did that. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and I was a minority in not hitting him. I suppose he did have a beating deserved to him, but I'm trying to be nice now. Being too mean. Um, I tore off poor Gren's arm. I mean, Gren was being a dick, but he didn't deserve to have his arm torn off. I really shouldn't have done that. Um, did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 19.8% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Wow, you guys, that is harsh. That is so harsh, guys. Like, Beast did, Beast did what most people would do to someone they thought was cheating with their partner i mean come on like it didn't look good you can't really blame beast too much for that he, he, he just completely took everything out of context and the way that he saw things when you put yourself in his perspective his wife is going missing you're telling beast that you've seen it 
um, but you won't tell him where exactly. And like you, you said that you've seen it like literally two minutes ago when you see Beast basically. And then you've got um, what am I saying? Yeah, then you've got obviously Beast turns up at some kind of like brothel type hotel thing where obviously people go and cheat and do just dirty things basically. Um, you've got that going on there and he sees you and um, Beauty coming out of a room or just looks like they're locking up from out of a room or just about to go in a room together. It doesn't look good does it? She's been disappearing. He knows that Beast, the, the um, Big B has seen her, so it, it just doesn't look good. So you can understand Beast kicking off and jumping the gun like straight away because anyone else literally would. He wouldn't have thought that she would work in a place like that either. That, that wouldn't be the thing to cross his mind. So, I just can't believe that. I can't. Ichabod Crane is such a uh, it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting he's such a creep anyway guys that is the end of episode 9 I hope you've all enjoyed um, this series so far I hope you've all enjoyed the playthrough of course if you have make sure you smash that like button subscribe so you can get any new uploads to this in your sub boxes straight away help me to get to 800 subscribers that would be great and we can reach that soon because um, a target of hitting 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'm just hoping that we can do that now um, and yeah guys with all of that being said um, I'll see you all in part 10 who knows what's going to happen it's all kicking off now it's all kicking off